Our goal for this lesson is to be able to multiply and divide fractions. So let's just start out by some basics of fractions. If we have a mixed number, before we can start working with a mixed number, we have to turn it into an improper fraction. And we do that, the first step is to uh, multiply the denominator multiply the denominator and the whole number so in this example up above we would take the denominator 5 times the whole number of 3 and then that's 15 so we're going to keep that 15 in our head and then to that 15 we're going to add the numerator So we had that 15 in our head, and we're going to add the numerator. So 15 plus 2 more makes 17. That's going to become our new numerator. And we're going to keep the same denominator of 5. So then our last step is to keep same denominator. And then just a note here, it says ignore negative sign when converting. So if, for example, this had said negative 3 and 2 fifths, I would still have done 5 times 3, not negative 3, but 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17, and then so now I need to bring that negative over and that would become negative 17. So when we're converting it, we ignore the negative, but remember to attach that negative when we're done. Let's go right below that. To write a whole number as a fraction, we want to take the number, in this case 2, and put it over 1. That's how we're going to turn a whole number into a fraction. Now let's look at this division problem here on the left. 4 fifths divided by 2 thirds. So we're going to first use reciprocal. What that means, the reciprocal is when you flip a fraction upside down, that's called the reciprocal. And then we're going to do keep, change, flip. Keep, change, flip. So we're going to keep the first fraction the same. That will stay 4 over 5. We're going to change from a division sign to a multiplication sign. And we're going to take the reciprocal, or flip, the second fraction, so it becomes 3 over 2. So we're flipping that second fraction. And now we've got a multiplication problem. So if you start with the multiplying, you would start with this step here. If you have a division problem, then we have to turn it into a multiplication problem first. Then our next step here says that we're going to reduce. Another word for that is to simplify. We could skip this step. I don't require you to reduce your fractions, but it does help us to get much smaller numbers, especially if we have other things we need to do with the fraction in the problem. So I'm going to kind of do this one two ways. Let's work through it if we were to simplify. To simplify, I can do one thing from a numerator with one thing from a denominator and we're thinking, what can I divide by both? So there's nothing I can divide by 4 and 5, or 3 and 2, but I can divide this diagonal, 4 and 2. I can divide both 4 and 2 by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So now I'm going to rewrite what I got here. So now I've got... 2 over 5 times 3 over 1. So I just divided a numerator and denominator by the same number. So then we're going to multiply. And when I multiply, we just multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. So numerator times numerator, 2 times 3 is 6. Denominator times denominator, 5 times 1 is 
five. And then just to make sure we understand, let's look back at this step up here again if we had not reduced. So let's go back to just having four over five times three over two. So if we did not reduce, we could just go straight to that multiplying step. And I'm gonna multiply four times three is 12. Five times two is 10. And then the six over five and the 12 over 10 are the same answer. So they're equivalent. I would take either one of them as correct but the 12 over 10 can be reduced. I can divide both 12 and 10 by two, and that will turn into six over five. So either way um, works fine. Let's just look at one other quick example. If we had, say, three and one fourth times five. So we've got a couple of things going on here that I need to do. First, I wanna convert this improper I'm sorry, this mixed number into an improper. So four times three is 12, plus one makes 13, so that becomes 13 over four. So we're using that step we did here. And then the five becomes five over one, we're using the step we did down here. This case is already a multiplication problem, so I can just go ahead and multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So I'm gonna do 13 times five. If you need to do a little scratch work, do a little scratch work. 13 times five, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Five times three is 15. Five times one is five, plus one makes six. So 13 times five is 65. Four times one is four. You can leave this as the improper. If you rather, you can turn it into a mixed number, but you do not have to turn it into a mixed number. And we'll also talk later how to do that, but just as a quick review, if you do want to turn 65 over four into a mixed number, this really means 65 divided by four, and then you would just do this long division to turn that into a mixed number. So four goes into six once, and that's four. Subtract, we get two left over. Bring down that next digit of five. Four goes into 25 goes in there six times, and that's 24. We subtract and get one. If I were going to do a decimal, I would add a decimal and, and then bring down zeros, but I just want to mix numbers, so I would stop there, and then I start at the top. So it's 16 whole times it goes in there, so 16 is my whole number. Four in there, 16 whole times, and I had one left over out of the four I'm dividing. So one left over out of the four I'm dividing. So if you choose to turn that into a mixed number, it would be 16 and one fourth. But again, that is up to you and how you want to finish solving that problem.